Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, you know who I am. This is Dr. Freedom, and it's time for some Doctor Who news. News from in and around the universe that may or may not affect you on some completely strange level that could be reaching out into the universe and destroying the ozone layer. That's right. Your thoughts about the Doctor could be causing penguins to get suntans. But okay, let's get into it. Let's take a look at it. That's what we got now. The problem is there's a couple of articles here that are clearly clickbait. Don't worry, we'll go. I'll, I'll tell you which ones. Well, they're going to be obvious. But I'm just dying laughing at how far the mirror is taking this nonsense now. But let's start off with something good. Let's start off with something wholesome. Let's start off with Doctor Who Series 10 will be Stephen Moffat's long, long swan song, says Margatus. Argatus. I can't remember how he pronounces it. I'll figure it out someday. But, um, he sat down and had a talk, you know, for an interview here. And basically, let's get to the part, the first part. I'll just give you a little bit here of the skinny of it. Now, he told the Press Association at the Dad's Army premiere, quote, we've been here many times before. It's like changing the doctor. It's going to be very exciting because Chris will have a whole new agenda and a whole new style. I think he's a wonderful choice. Um, he goes, Steve's done an incredible job because he's he has he was shadowing Russell and before, and he's been doing it for so long that in many ways it'll be a relief. But the main thing is that he's had an incredible time and done an amazing job. And he and that's about it, basically. That's the gist of it right there. So um, and then they just go into some basics. So, you know, it's kind of nice of him to say that there. You know, you know, nice little bit of praise. Also, we got Steve Moffat's legacy. Six things the showrunner, you know, gave Doctor Who. And um, some interesting stuff like, oh, yeah, he brought back the Eighth Doctor for seven minutes. He saved Gallifrey. I'm not going into that. Okay. Uh, he brought back more classic monsters, and I will give him credit for that. He screwed up the Zygons. But okay. Um, he terrified us with new monsters. That made absolutely no sense. Uh, see, I'm just I'm just screwing around. You don't worry. He gave the Doctor a new set of regenerations when it absolutely wasn't necessary. But okay. <laughs> I used to, I'm just doing that as an ode to myself because I used to be, you know, really, really hardcore like that. But I said, you know, whether you like him, love him, or loathe him, it's his time. He's come to the end of it. But don't worry. We've still got till 2017 to see his final season. Okay. Moving on. Now, here we go. Let's start with a clickbait. All right. The mirrors already put up who will be the next doctor. It's time for a new Time Lord, and they think they know who it'll be. Now, once again, get ready for this. And I'm dying laughing because they're saying the bookies are type tipping. Oh, look, Ben Wishaw. Now, wasn't it funny that in the 4chan leak, they said that they're looking for a Ben Wishaw style character, even though they allegedly weren't looking for Ben Wishaw himself. And suddenly Ben Wishaw's up at five to one odds. Okay. Okay. So. Then again, I you know, oh, got it. And then of course, you gotta look at this crazy list that they do have here. You know, oh heck, all the way down. I think the Keeley Hawes, David Mitchell, and all that, like thirty-three to one odds. But once again, it's just you know, Helena Bonham Carter. She was on the last couple of lists, and it's like I don't think that's gonna happen. If they did, it'd be kind of weird. You know, she is an amazing actress. You know, I think she could do it, but at the same time. You know how many people would be switching off their TVs and running for the hills? And along with the ones who are secretly watching anyway because it's Doctor Who and it's great, damn it. But all right, moving on. Let's get to the really one that's really clickbaiting me. So once again, Mir's already pointing their fingers for a new Doctor. Meanwhile, Capaldi hasn't even announced he's leaving yet. Oy vey. Now, there's a funny one. Could Catherine Tate return to Doctor Who as a new Time Lord? Donna Noble you know, teases fans. Now, I didn't really get, you know, maybe I missed it, and I really don't see where she even hints at the fact that she would be interested in the character. She just basically says that she could see a female playing the Doctor one day. And the thing is, Jerry said that, you know, she's not, you know, she doesn't think there's any way Donna Noble could really come back in the current time timeline of the show because, you know, of the things that poor Russell T. Davies did to her, that heartless, cold Welsh bastard. You did that to Donna, you meanie. Okay. Uh, but, hmm. 
damn, Catherine, you're looking good these days. All right. Like, not like she wasn't back then, but damn. All right. Moving on. Louise Jameson, how Doctor Who paid for my pension. I got a kick out of this one. This is a nice little, nice little interview. Uh, I do really, really strongly encourage that you read it. And she's been, you know, like, like it says right here, she's been a regular tele presence on television for over 40 years. Not to mention she's done countless stage, you know, stage appearances and whatnot. And, you know, she's always fun to read her stuff. I'd love to get her on here for an interview, but, you know, she's one of them actresses that is constantly freaking busy, even to this day. So, I, please, get you know, for a good one. that you know, Plus, she says something nifty about Tom Baker, if I'm right down here. So, go check this out really good. Also, Peter Davis and Mark Gaddis have been nominated for What's On Stage Awards. That's right. Uh, Peter Davison's been nominated for Best Supporting Actor in a Musical for his role as Manager Herbie in the 2015 West End revival of Gypsy. 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 Sorry about that. Oh, hang on. And Mark Gatiss is nominated for Best Supporting Actor in a Play for Three Days in the Country. And remember, voting closes on this for the 31st of January. You only have a couple of days. You better get up there and vote. No! Okay. And lastly for today, this is from Wales Online. Eve Miles sinks her teeth into the vampire film Eat Local. And, of course, it was nifty pick seeing her with Free Magument. And, um, it, it, like I said, if, if you've seen some of the pics she puts up, this is absolutely hilarious. Oh, man. Um, like I said, I got the honor of meeting her in person this last year, and she is a force. She is just so damn funny. I, an amazing woman. Very, very friendly. It was really, really nice to meet her. Okay, and that's all I got. Once again, the clickbait continues. And well, you know, as we all know, Peter Capaldi hasn't even started filming Moffat's last season, and the mirror has already gone on this you know, big thing about how they've already got an idea of who his replacement is. But meanwhile, the BBC probably haven't even considered it yet. Or if they have, they're not talking about it. Now, if these were odds, genuine odds makers they'd put up, I remember back when Peter Capaldi was on the list, I think it was like the week or two before, he had suddenly shot up to like, oh, God, his, his odds shrank incredibly. That's how I kind of knew, you know, he was going to land it. But like I said, I'm not jumping up down going, I called it. I'm sorry, that's not my deal. I'm just really glad he did land the role because he's given us a couple of amazing years. And I'm hoping he gives us more. I'm really hoping he's not leaving. I, I, but the problem is my gut instinct is this. If they had done a series for this year, I think he would have hung around for 2018 for the first series of Chibnall. But something's telling me that because of this gap year and the fact that you're not going to see, you know, series 10 till 2017 and whatnot. Plus I have this eerie feeling they're going to lay the blame as partially for the ratings on him. I really do. I think they're going to slam him for not getting in the teeny, teeny girls. And I, I really think that's going to be part of it. But of course, you know how it is. We won't find out till a decade from now. And by then I probably won't be doing this anymore. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, he's here for now. Let's enjoy him while he's here. And until he announces he's going, let's just say, hey, he's a damn good doctor in a first class act. Well, until tomorrow, guys, take care. Ta-ta. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night.